Hey, what's up, Idalsa here. I am about a week into learning Hebrew now. This is my second update video. My first one, I showed you what I do to learn the hearing and the pronunciation of Hebrew. And basically, I break down real natural Hebrew speech into its elemental sounds, its rhythm, its melody. And my goal there is to build the capacity to mimic Hebrew sounds so that when someone comes to me in Hebrew and I wanna ask them the question, hey, what do you call this thing? What does that mean? And that person makes sounds with his mouth. I can listen to it and mimic it back. And that association, that linking between the sounds we create with our mouth and the meanings they represent in conversation, that's essentially what learning a language is, making that connection and making that connection automatic. What I've been doing is using an audio-based program called Pimsleur. And what I mean by audio-based is all they're doing to teach me new meanings and new words is just using audio. I'm not learning how to read Hebrew or how to write Hebrew because that's extra noise in the signal. So I have um, Pimsleur here on my phone. There are about 25 to 30 minute lessons, though it takes me about 40 to 45 minutes to complete them because I'm stopping and pausing a lot. But here's what it kind of sounds like. It's essentially this dude um, kind of walking you through a conversation and then they give you time to listen and mimic. Here's what it sounds like. Shmona. Shmona. Say six shekels. Shisha shkalim. Shisha shkalim. Shisha shkalim. All right, so what's going on is they say, say this word in English or say, how would you say this phrase in um, Hebrew? And then I would pause it and think, okay, from what I learned, how do I say that? They keep repeating the same thing over and over again. So you're building out vocabulary slowly, but you're really building it out because you're getting repetition, all right? So each time I get a new word, I go into my notes and I add in that word, but I just write it down in English. And then I come here and organize it in the spreadsheet. So you see now I have about 98 words. I'm about 18 lessons in to this Pimsleur um, lesson. So that's about, you know, almost 10 hours of just straight mimicking and repeating audio. And these are all the things I know how to say in Hebrew. All right. So it's not much, but combining, I can say lots of stuff. I can say, you know, I understand a little bit of Hebrew, right? Ani medin ktsat ivrit, right? Or I can say, I want to um, buy something. Right? So the reason I can do that right now is because I've been doing these repetitions. And I keep it here in English um, because the goal isn't just to like have memorize the translations into Hebrew. It's really, do, do I really know these words? And I talk a lot about the difference between consuming information and learning and actually knowing that information. So, you know, if you do like a Duolingo or you do one of these language learning apps, they can give you lots of information and you can memorize how to, um, you know, read a word or how to, uh, how to, you know, write a word and have that intellectual concept, concept stick in your head, but you don't truly know the word until you have it memorized in a pure auditory context and you're able to use it in a real conversation. So I actually had my first conversation a few days ago and recorded it, but my computer got stolen, so I don't have that recording anymore. So I'm gonna do a new one, and you're gonna see how I use this spreadsheet here. Um, I'm gonna give this to the person I'm speaking with so they know the kind of words that I know, and then we're gonna have a very basic conversation. And you can think of the metaphor of um, digestion, right? So. Doing the Pimsleur is kind of like I fed myself these new words, these new concepts. And, you know, each time I did a repetition, I was kind of like chewing it and digesting it. But in order for me to truly integrate it and embody it, you know, digest it and put it into my cells so it's a part of me, I need to use it in a real conversation. So I only have 98 words, but, you know, divided between subjects, actions, things, descriptions, this will allow me to kind of construct basic pieces and really get to what my first goal post is in this learning process, which I call simple conversation. I want to be able to just get my point across. Now, this is important. Um, I always tell people when you learn a language, especially at the beginning stage, like I'm at right now with Hebrew, I don't care about being correct. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. That's not my goal right now. I focus on connection over correction. So 
Um, for example, Hebrew is an inflectional language, as is English and Spanish. And what that means is that you have a word like, um, we'll just say understand, right? Um, depending on what the subject is, who the subject is, if I understand or you understand, um, or actually in this case of Hebrew, if it's a man understanding, it would be ani mevin. But if I'm a woman speaking, I'd say ani mevina, right? So um, that mevin, that core word of understand, inflects or changes based on the context. And you know, languages like German and and you know French and stuff like that. They have lots of different inflections based on who the subject is or what else is going on in the sentence. And that's where things get complicated in learning. But, you know, in English, for example, if I say I want, he wants, the word want gets inflected for the third person singular, he wants, right? However, if I'm learning English and I say to you, he want eat chocolate now, you would understand what I'm saying 100% perfectly, right? I would be able to connect and get my point across. So what happens I find with language learners is they get too obsessed over correction. And they say, oh, before I can even open my mouth to speak, I need to learn all the conjugations, all the inflections, how to say the sentence perfectly right from the very beginning. Otherwise, I'm not gonna try it. And if you do that, you get stuck because that's not how it works. You need to start very basic. So when I speak to this person tomorrow with my Hebrew conversation, I'm not gonna be worried too much about getting the perfect inflection, the perfect uh, conjugation. I just want to know that, like, okay, I know at least one way of saying understand, mevin, right? And maybe I'm speaking to a woman and I say, you know, I say, uh, you know, atad mevina or something like that. And, you know, I mess things up here and there. It doesn't matter as long as she understands, I consider it a success, okay? And that's the first goalpost, getting to a point where I'm comfortable using these different words and can kind of navigate my way through conversation. Um, and then I'll show you in the next video the process I do to more rapidly build out my vocabulary, build out the number of contexts I feel comfortable in, um, and then moving into the next stage where I am starting to focus on speaking more grammatically and speaking more fluidly, okay? But just wanna give you a kind of sneak peek into what it is I do after I learn the pronunciation and hearing in the language. So once again, you focus on the sound, and then you get an audio-based program like Pimsleur. If you have other programs you recommend that appear audio-based, let me know um, in the comments. And then you do that to get your basic scaffolding, the basic structure and words, but you wanna immediately enter into a conversation so you can digest those words and integrate them and use them because you don't truly know something until you've used it enough times that it becomes second nature to you. So that's my goal right now. I have these 100 or so words in Hebrew. I wanna keep using them until they feel natural to me while I gradually build out my lexicon, my vocabulary base, all right? I hope that's informative to you. Stay tuned for the next video and I'll have me speaking with an Israeli person in my first non-computer stolen recorded conversation in Hebrew. All right, thanks.